we're going to start with some lubrication. Just a good thick lithium grease should work. This is just what I'm using here. Really good and thick. We're going to apply it with a small paintbrush. And we're going to get into a lot of different areas. All of the gears need to be able to slide a little bit. If possible, you can actually loosen the set screws here, slide them out, and be able to get to the bearing that's behind there. You're not actually lubricating underneath this one, you're getting behind it in that little bearing there and on the other side. That needs to be lubricated. Same on this other side here, inside that bearing. You can do the same here. You can loop, loosen up this gear, slide it out a little bit and get to it from the other side. It helps be able to move the bar itself, lubricate it and slide it back into place. Another area that needs some attention is this gear here. You're going to actually lift it a little bit. Lubricate underneath it, lubricate over it, slide it around a bit. Right now you can see it doesn't move very freely. It takes a bit of force. So we're going to fix that. Another one is going to be over here at the front of the machine. We're going to want to try to lubricate in here as much as possible underneath that gear. And then of course the actual rods themselves, we'll get those two. And then of course the other front one. So I'll show you a little bit here. I'm going to apply some grease. And you can wipe off the old stuff if you like first. But I'm just going to go ahead and spread this on here a little bit. So I'm going to put this on top on the shaft so that as we lift the gear, it's going to catch all that new grease that we just put on there. So we're going to lift it up so that it picks that up. And we can do that a few times. Put that new grease on there and work it a little bit. Now we do the same underneath it. This is sometimes a little bit hard to do, especially while holding a camera. Try to get that in there as best as you can. Underneath it on the rod while it's in the up position. And then slide it back down. And you're going to do that a few times. You can move it around, move your uh, extruder in the axis. Do the same on the other side. I'm not going to go ahead and loosen that up, but I will on this side. Just dab a little bit. Do this side where I can show you a little better. Dab a little bit in here. and try to move the bar. Now one thing to remember on these rods over here, they move the axis. I'm going to home it real quick. Is it the top on this side is about the only thing that's going to need lubrication because that's just a guide side. On this other side, you want to make sure to get all around the actual rod because that needs to be able to slide on the whole thing. best to actually take case sides off if you can just to be able to get all around it. You don't want to put it on too thick and you want to move in all directions using your controller to kind of spread that around too. 
So move it around, wipe some more grease on, move it around, wipe some more grease on. Some fresh grease on there, just lightly all around, all sides. And as you move around, it'll it'll squish most of it off to the side, but it'll leave a nice coating on there. Okay, that's pretty much it for lubrication. You just want to keep doing that until you get everything running nice and smooth. And then you can move on to tightening up the belts. And the only real way to know if you've got them tight is to have an equal amount of tension when you touch it. You want it to be fairly tight but still have some movement to it, and not applying a lot of force. You want it to be equally tight on both sides. And this one feels a little bit looser over here, so I might tighten that up just a little bit. Just small amounts until both sides feel even and it moves smoothly in that direction and you can move on to the other belt. And this one here, you don't really have to worry about getting equal tension on two different sides, you just want to match the tension here that you have here, a nice, fairly firm, but still have some movement to it. You don't want it to feel like it's going to snap. And you use all these set screws to do that. I'm going to tighten this one up a little bit as well. Hard to do while holding the camera, so I won't show that exactly. But that's what you want to achieve. You want equal tension on both sides. You want it to be fairly tight, but still have some movement to it. That's about it. I will say, do not use WD-40 or any other liquid-based lubricants. You do need a good grease, not an oil.